Hello everyone, Rurikan here coming at you with another episode of Dragon's Dogma, the Double Dwarven Edition. In the last episode we've had a little bit of a confrontation with uh, Grigori, which I wasn't even aware that that was the name of the big ass dragon that shows up at the very start of the game. This is pretty much as far as I've ever really made it into Dragon's Dogma. I don't think there's anything that uh, I've explored previously after this point um, before this playthrough because as, as you guys are aware this is like my third playthrough but anyways uh, I've already done some inventory management to uh, prevent from having to bore you guys with uh, those uh, menial tasks so what we're going to be doing right now is I just want to I just want to go ahead and use where is it Ugh, kind of lost in the menus here I'm gonna use the eternal fairy stone and actually Thing is, we don't, we don't, we're not supposed to go back to Grand Soren. We are supposed to be going towards. I'm kind of lost. I'm sorry. Uh, we're supposed to be going towards the guy, uh, the Dragon Forged guy, which I don't think I have anything that's particularly close to where he is. But I've also been wondering if I should be doing um, something that a lot of people have been telling me to do, which is go back to the, the, whatever that place is called, Everfall. Go back to Everfall, go get the port crystal, you're going to regret it if you don't. So I think I might just be doing that right now. We're going to like make a run through it. Uh, it might go wrong because those tentacles are still all there. I wonder if those tentacles are even a threat now, though maybe just my pawns can just take them out like super fast. But uh, since when we, since, since we basically are so close by when we port the Grand Sorn, I think I might as well just um, go do that now, just go pick up that port, call this crystal thingamajig, so that you guys, so that I can put you guys' mind at ease, actually I can put my own mind at ease, I almost sound like I'm being an ungrateful little prick and that's not what I'm going for, um... Because, I mean, obviously I appreciate all the tips that you guys have been giving me because so far nobody has really spoiled any major plot points. Uh, so that has been really positive. I have to really appreciate my community for that because obviously even though the story in the game is not um, its strong point, it's still nice that you guys haven't really spoiled anything up until this point. So thanks a lot for that. And... Uh, I will be taking your advice of uh, picking up the port colis. Another advice that a lot of people have been giving me is just to go to Bitter Black Island before I finish the game, which I find like, I don't know, I guess it kind of confuses me a little bit because I'm not fully aware of how um, of how the storyline of this uh, of this game works. Oh crap, undeads. So the thing is. Since I'm not fully aware of how the storyline works, it's kind of confusing to me. Oh. It's kind of confusing to me, like, I always like to see DLC as just additional additional content, like, um, something else besides the game that I've been playing all this time. But you guys keep telling me that Bitter Black Isle actually gets different once you... Is that an ogre I hear? That Bitter Black Isle actually gets different... Um, after you defeat the final dragon, so that's one of the things that I've had to take into consideration. The other thing I've I found kind of weird is that... Oops, no, Mika, not you. Wait. The other thing that I found somewhat weird is the fact that uh, there hasn't really been a quest, because several of you have been saying that uh, I'm very close to fighting Grigory, but there hasn't really been a quest that puts me against... The um, the smaller drake or dragon or whatever the hell that thing is that is uh, close to Shadow Fort, and I thought that there would be a quest that would put me against that guy. Unless you're just supposed to fight him once you um, get those quests, because you get so many quests to go to the Shadow Fort that you're just bound to um, cross ways with um, with the dragon. And I'm wondering if that is what they expect you to do, it's like, oh, you find this dragon in the middle of the quest and you just kill him as what as part of one of those ambush quests and that's that. So, I, I don't know. I just don't know, the, the, the whole thing about this game is still so confusing. It's just, if I had like one word to describe 
how I really feel about um, Dragon's Dogma, apart from the fact that I really enjoy playing my character, is probably just I feel confused as hell a lot of the time. Interestingly enough, there's no uh, there's no tentacles. I wasn't aware that the tentacles wouldn't be spawning. Why the hell is he, like, oozing black stuff? Wow, he hasn't even moved yet. Oh, you wanna block? Block it. Oh, you're getting excited? Oh, here comes the Maelstrom. There's the Maelstrom. That's probably going to finish him off. Damn, that thing. You can barely see when it's... when it's going. Is it gone yet? You just picked up some unspeakable meat. I hope you enjoy that, Hurricane. Oh. See you later, Mr. Bat. Very well. Let's see what else expects us. What else have you guys got down here? I'm probably going to be using the Eternal Fairy Stone to get out of here when I'm ready. There's the portcullis crystal. Yes, it is a lever. Something else that I also need is money because I've been on a, um, I've been a little bit low on money ever since I started doing the, um, ever since I did that big spending frenzy after handing over the um, bronze idol to the other guy. You may say so yourself, girl. Good job. It does seem to work well, doesn't it? Oh, did I just get kicked into submission? Out of my way, bitches. Shield slam my way out of here. Now oh, then. Let's see about that Pert Cullis crystal, shall we? I was right in the middle here. Flame Servant's throne. You see, I thought this was just a part of the scenery. The first time I came here. Anyways, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get anywhere else. Oh, look, a chest. As I find the most epic weapon ever. Or just a large coin pouch. And I can't see a damn thing. I wish that uh, your character automatically unequipped lanterns whenever it's not nighttime. That you wouldn't have to do it manually. That would be so convenient. And this is the place... Oh, the door opened. Oh. Oh, crap, I'm sleeping. Oh, these seem to be a little bit more challenging than what I'm used to. Am I gonna die? Not yet, but I'm pretty damn close. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, these are both dead anyways. Hurry up with that healing spell. What the hell's going on? Okay, there's skeleton mages up above. We can pull out a bow and deal with those. Since they can become a problem 
we're so far away. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, wait, this is not the menu. Th these menus are so confusing. That's the other thing. I really hope that in the in the next iteration of the game, they make things a lot simpler. I don't mean simpler as in easier. I just mean simpler as in easier to actually get stuff done. So much for your skeleton ways. Oh, so many of them. There you go, that's one down. Stop trying to get me to sleep, I'm not sleepy at all. Well, not in the in-game. In real life, I'm pretty much always sleepy. There you go. That's what you bitches get. Flee? Flee? What do you take me for? What do you think this is? Flee from battle. This looks interesting. That's not an option. A jewel of time. Interesting that I'm only now doing the Everfall for the second time, and mostly only because you guys told me, Go get the port colors crystal! You need to get it! So at least we get a nice, decent dungeon run straight up at, from the get-go of this video. Now there's a couple of items that I can go get there. Hello. Ooh, that was a headshot right there. Indeed, burn them to ash. I think I've fallen down this place a couple of times trying to get that. Let's not repeat that facade. And I mean that not this particular um, playthrough, on my first playthrough. Ooh, look at all that sweet money. Look at all that money. Look at all that gold. Ooh, what's that? I don't think I've been there. Another coin pouch. Is there another chest on this side? Nope. Aha! A lever! And I've locked myself in. Wait, this activates pretty much the same passages that the other ones do. That's kind of weird. Why would you want that? This looks interesting. For what purpose I have no idea why you would want that. Anyways, what else can we explore here? Did someone just fell to their deaths? No. Nobody's flashing. She just she just fell. She just had an accident. Now this is the place that I haven't gone to. And how about here? Is there anything else here? No, just skulls, skulls, skulls. Oop! Or I'll take that. Get that mining. Leave it to me. What else have we got in here? We go over to this side. Ooh, there's a staircase. Uh, but this is where we came from. Am I correct? I'm assuming this. Yeah, this is pretty much where we came from. So let's keep moving onwards through that door upstairs now that we've explored this whole section. Since we're doing close quarters again, I should probably switch back to my shield, switch back to sword and board mode, and only switch back to. Um, only switch back to bows if I find any more harpies. Hey boys, how y'all doing? I really like undeads. Because they just blow up. There you go. I was wondering if this would be like a secret passage or something. Doesn't look like it. Wow, thank you very much for that. I think this spell is called Comestion. That's really good. That's some really good stuff. Let's keep inching forward. Oh. Okay, we still can't hit them like this, so let's just go ahead and bomb! Wow, how many undead can you spawn in that tight little square? Back, you fiends! Back, I said! Back! Shield slam! I employed kind of like a phalanx technique there. I just stood as a shield between the foes and my party. We got some hand covers. Those are probably useless. And this takes us back here, which is why it's useful to use 
that um, that lever because it um, opens up the door so that we can move forward. Now I'm guessing that we're going to be finding another closed, um, another closed or another barred way, so to speak. But I don't really care about that because we could just use our, um, we could just flat out use our eternal fairy stone. Which I'm probably going to do since I can't really find, can't really find the lever for this door, so the hell with it. Just gonna use the fairy stone, uh, get the hell out of here since I don't think there's a lot more for us to do. And we're going to be going after that one quest that we haven't completed yet. Teleport to Grand Soren. We're gonna be going after the uh, Dragonforged guy. I'm just, um, I'm just wondering if that is going to just begin the final quest, like if the dragon will descend upon us, but I don't think so, because you're supposed to go and explore the, what are they called, the Tainted Lands, I think? Yeah, I think you're supposed to still explore the Tainted Lands, which is something that I still haven't done. And since we just did a dungeon run, you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more inventory management, so I will see you on the flip side. Okay, so here we are, um, just did a little bit of inventory management, ready to go once again. Uh, there's not a whole lot, it seems, that we have to actually do in Grand Soren, so what I'm going to be doing is, um, need to talk with the Dragonforged, so we're going to be heading straight there. I don't think, well, isn't, isn't the Dragonforged, like, somewhat close to, I can't remember where the Dragonforged even is. Just look at the map here, see if there's like a reference. Isn't this the Dragonforge place? No, this is the Catacombs. This is the Ruins of Heaven Speaks Forth, the Abbey. I can't really... wait, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. This is the Hill Figure Knoll. So if we go to Windbluff Tower, we'll be considerably close. So yeah, definitely going to be doing that. These uh, port crystal things are definitely useful. The game would have done a better job to kind of explain, could have done a better job to kind of explain you how these work, I think. I don't know, there's just so much I think could really be improved. Even though this, this is a, here's the thing, like Dragon's Dogma, I feel, is a great game, right? Unfortunately, we've had the, the, that thing about the DLC that kind of pissed me off, and there's just a lot of mechanics that aren't really that well explained and that are needlessly complex. I mean, the whole game could really be a little bit more streamlined, but just from like a UI standpoint and from a standpoint of really the mechanics of the game, not the combat or anything like that or making it easier, just be streamlined as in to facilitate, um, like people throw the accessibility word around a lot, particularly with Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 and what happened with that. But I feel that this is, is a good example of where a game could be more accessible without necessarily being more easy, and um, it could really benefit from it. Uh, come on, you guys are going to make me pull out my bow. I really don't want to. Come at me. That's it. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow those fuckers all to hell. Come on. I want your fires ablaze. I just want to blow these goddamn harpies to kingdom come. Come on this. Oh. No fly zone. This right here is, oh wait, 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 wait a second. Whoa. Getting a little bit carried away here, aren't we? Thank you very much for that heal. And boom, that's another harpy down. Come on. I don't let them drag me off. I just blow them up. Does it now? Let's go. There we go. Strength in numbers indeed. I just realized something I pretty much haven't saved throughout this whole video. I'm feeling really confident here. Are the remaining pawns coming? Come on guys, stop slacking around. Filthy slackers. Did I just hear... I just heard some kind of weird noise. I better save. Better save. Better save than sorry. 
Let's see what we got. <clears throat> you need but consult your map. They say in times long past, such ill figures were not uncommon. So what have we here? I'm aware that there's something drawn on the hill. We've been here before. So let's talk to Mr. Dragonforged. And the fool. Probably only the fool's gonna be here. Nope, Dragonforged is here, is here as well. The hour is come, Arisen. The door lies open. Seek the temple. Beyond the Great Wall. At its pinnacle, in the shadow of the world, Keeper of the Endless Ring, you will make your choice. What you there become, only you can decide. Make for the Tainted Mountains, the final battle. Okay, this looks like this would be the point oh, at God. which we will be going up against the dragon. So at this point, either I go to... Bitter Black Isle, or I go and face the dragon and go to Bitter Black Isles afterwards. Now, the thing that I'm thinking, though, is, um, I mean, it would be interesting to get both aspects of Bitter Black Isle, as in the easier version, which supposedly is right now, and the harder version, which is after we uh, kill the dragon itself. So, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go, and, and this is just Taking into consideration the comments on the videos and all that other stuff, I'm thinking I should probably go to Bitter Black Isle before we face against the dragon. Now, um, I'm just thinking here though, there's something else that I really want to do first to test my metal here, which is... What level are we currently? Right now we are level 48. I'm wondering if I can even just fight against the other dragon that's close to um, Shadow Fort. I mean, supposedly right now we should be able to take him out. So I'm saying we go and we find out if we can take out that other dragon before we proceed any further. However, we do have Draconian Strategy here. Uh, how knocking a dragon off balance will expose its vulnerable heart. Okay. There, my pawn has gained additional knowledge. So. Let us now travel to... Didn't I put one in Shadow Fort? I'm pretty sure I put one in Shadow Fort. Now I put one here because this is a shortcut to Shadow Fort. I never actually... I didn't? I'm so surprised at myself for not having placed one at Shadow Fort itself. Wait, there it is, Bart the Crags. This is the Shadow Fort, right? I think it is. Let's find out. Let's hope it's not night time. There's also something that I remember from playing the normal version is that when when you kill the dragon and you have items that are like fully upgraded, there's a chance that those items will be upgraded to a more powerful version. Great Wall and Encampment. No, this was the wrong place. This was most definitely the wrong place. I actually could not be further away from the Shadow Fort if I wanted to. I definitely do not have one of those port crystal things in Shadow Fort, but I should have one at the, the passageway that goes to Shadow Fort. So, like here, yeah, the ancient quarry. So that's where we're gonna have to go in order to go to the Shadow Fort. God damn it. Shadow Fort would, would have definitely been useful. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that, I guess. Uh, use and go. Yeah, here. This is the one. Eston Plains. Let's meet up with that. I wonder if that even is a dragon or a drake or what the hell that thing is. We shall see and we shall destroy. Hopefully, because if we don't destroy it, I don't see how well we're going to be doing in Bitter Black Isle. Then again, he could be harder than what we're about to meet in Bitter Black Isle, but I 
highly doubt it. Something else is that a lot of people have told me that I've completely missed the camp. That I, and I know that there's a camp there close to Shadow Fort. But um, the reason I missed that camp is because I, it just was taking too long for me to find it. And I just kind of gave up on it. Another user with the same online ID is signed in. You've been signed out. Huh. That's weird. I'll figure that out once I'm done with the recording. And this place is still huge. I need to get more. Can you actually buy portcullises? I should have checked that. I should have checked for that even. I just went in the wrong direction. But, as per usual, my Dwarven senses do not allow me to ignore a piece of ore. There you go, Rakane, right here. Two Dwarves mining ore. Doesn't get any more greedy than this. However, we did make a wrong turn. I'll take that. Did I just hear an ogre? Nah, can't be. I have infinite stamina. Oh, it's going to be night time. I don't like night time in this zone. Then again, we could just have a bunch of gobos lying around. But I definitely don't want to face that dragon during night time, because who knows what we might run into. Oh, it's still daytime, so it's all good. Now then, let's have a look at that map and see exactly what I missed. Supposedly it should be somewhere here, I would assume, or there. So I'm just going to follow the path this time around, and we will see what we get. For starters, looks like we're going to be getting a couple of Saurians. Thanks for jumping above me. That was mighty kind of you. Allowed me to literally just dispatch you with haste. So much for the tail. Let's get this one. Another tail off. And another Saurian. Another tail off. And just, just chopping tails like nobody's business. There you go. Some Saurian tail. I'm, I'm not interested in Saurian tail though. Ugh. Just the notion of it. Monsters? Still? You guys just don't give up, do you? But I smack your face with my shield for your insolence. Oh, someone burned your ass down. Shield slam. Shield slam. Shield slam. <laughs> Some Saurian scales. And here's the encampment that I missed last time. I knew there was an encampment here. Are you all right, master? I'm fine. Some chafstim. Chafstim. Potent green varish. Chafstim also heals, if I remember correctly. What purpose do you suppose those men's posts serve? Uh, what can we buy here, even? I think that uh, this guy just sells crap. Well, he's got broadsword. Well, actually. It seems that all of them are selling the same stuff. Like, I don't really see anything special. We got the Bardish daggers, which are supposed to be better than the stuff that I have, I think. But I don't really care about it. There's no new shields. Oh, there's the dire wolf bow. Which I don't really care for either. Because the hunter bow supposedly is better. So, yeah. Leather cap. I would look so ridiculous with that on my face. Doesn't seem like there's anything better than Lion Lords either. Ah, it's a waste of time looking at this guy's wares. He can't even enhance our stuff, so that's pretty pointless. There is a knowledge chair. Now, where is the dragon? Let's have a look at the map here. I think that the dragon is like somewhere down here. Probably through this, uh... Yeah, there, doesn't it... 
name itself Devil Fire Path somewhere? Devil Fire Grove. So that's probably where he is, right there. Devil Fire Grove, I think. So before we go there, though, we can rest here, uh, which will give us more daytime. Because who knows how long it's going to take me to kill a dragon. Rest for 100 gold, stay till morning. Reconnect the PlayStation Network. Not right now. I don't feel like, uh, yeah, sure, set me to offline. Don't care. Saving content takes care of that. So, our little dragon friend is in this direction. Am I correct? Yep. That's where we gotta go. No, we don't go around. We're going straight for that dragon. Devil Fire Grove. At least I think that this is where... Oh, there it is. Isn't that it? Yep, that's the dragon. Dragon, Drake, whatever the hell he happens to be. Either way, before we engage on him, let's go ahead and save game. And let's see what we can do. It's going to be a crazy fight, I think. I can't remember which, uh, what particular spell this one is vulnerable to. But I think that when I came here in normal mode, I, I could just kill this guy in normal mode like easy. He was not a problem at all. Very well. Let's see what you got. Go. Attack. Oh, it's a Drake. Okay. Sorry, dude. Seems I can actually block you now. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I actually can barely damage him. Let's go ahead and have some shrooms. What is this large mushroom? What else can I do to get stamina? Some beast steak. Some rotten. This one's gonna ravage my bowels. About to turn foul, so we can eat this one too. There we go. I don't really seem to be dealing that much damage. And I'm already out of stamina again. I might have to pull out the old bow. Polar mushroom? It gives me stamina, I don't give a damn. There we go. Whoa, whoa! And I'm dead.
Find those fangs! time. I've been at it for quite some time now. This was as far as I was able to get on the dra on this dragon fight. So if Grigory is harder than this one, I am definitely not ready for Grigory yet. <clears throat> and there seems to not really be that many um, just side quests left. I might be uh, doing some off-camera exploration, you know, just doing random side quests, killing random monsters that you guys have already seen before the next episode to level up because um, this dragon fight really taught me something like I've been at this for almost an hour just getting the crap beat out of me and that is that uh, hard mode when it comes to dragons it does not fool around because um, like during this fight the main issue is that I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be editing a death montage because there's just like so many deaths that I would be stuck here for like five hours editing this thing but um, the main issue is that there, there's just any hit the dragon does on me, I'm dead. Like, any hit at all. So, yeah, I definitely need to level up more and whatnot. Um, and I don't know, but the thing is, I know that I can kill this dragon if I was to come back with a different class. Because, like, the first time that I came here on normal, I came with a Mystic Knight and I just raped face against this dragon because of the Mystic Knight's magic, because you can have like these uh, weird chants that you can do of Frost, because Frost, I think, is the weak, the weak part of this dragon, and you can just own him with that. But, uh, oh well, I guess I have some uh, side quests to do and whatnot, and then we will come back here to deal with this individual. As per usual, leave me a comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.